What's up guys, it's me and Romeo and today I'm gonna bring you a tutorial on how to make a Twitch or like Twitch slash YouTube logo. So first of all you wanna go into file up here. Yeah, and I'm doing this in Photoshop, so um, you have to go up to, up to here the top, top left corner and go to new. You wanna set your width and your height to 800 times 800. I need to make this awesome square for us. Oh, this was sorry. too much. And when I do this, I always start with one big square. And I go into a right click on the rectangle, go to blending options, and then we go over to color over color overlay. Just to get like the hand of the background then you can see where my mouse is down here where the rectangle is I right click and then you say ellipse tool and then you press that so you can see you can make it however but if you hold down shift then it will make a perfect circle so you make a circle like this big how like however big you wanna have your logo and for next you press the circle right here you right click you go to duplicate layer and just have it ellipse one copy change that color not to red we wanna have it uh, maybe not black just white and then you Mo hold shift when you're moving it and you move it a little bit but you want to be sure the space here and the space here does match so for me uh, I feel like it's really easy to move it with your arrow keys on the keyboard for me it works the best alright so now you have it like this if you want, you could make this black or however, or take the background, then you have this one. But for me, I'm going to keep the background for now. So I'm going to go to the copy. The copy is the white one. So I'm going to go to the one that is in the back so ellipse one I'm gonna change that to whatever color my theme is my theme is blue so I'm gonna change it to blue and then I'm gonna press outer glow but first you're gonna copy these numbers down here Control C and you go outer glow press this one and you um, want to make it like 20 times 20 press ok oh. go back into this and then you go inner glow 20 times 20 and change that to blue you could make this like light not dark but like light dark blue but you can't see it because of the red so it looks like pink but we're gonna change it to black and then you can see how the outer glow turns out and then it's like uh, what do you say neon type color could as well maybe make it the choke 30 times 30 and the outer glow maybe 25 times 25 all right so now before you will write write anything down you would go to thefont.com I will leave this uh, 
this website down in the description below so you can find it yourself but here you can find free fonts so you can go into cartoon then you have the cartoon fonts you can go more to the right to sky fi and then you have these type of like transformer space these types of fonts I my personal I always go into sky fi but you can I'm just gonna show you a couple you can I swear like this one this one is really nice and uh, this is called uh, warriors but I have so many fonts for me so I'm just gonna go into the text in here hello Exactly. Now I know the reason. What is wrong? There we go. Okay. Then you do like maybe two hundred fifty. I'm gonna do 220 but then you can just okay let's do that okay let's do this one again go here Type A. There we go. Boom. Great. There we go. And then you can do maybe let's say 326. Exactly. Now it's working. And put it somewhere in the middle. When you do this always hold shift so it won't like go in some stupid directions for me I'm gonna put a because my name is Aromia so you, ca you can press somewhere up here to find the exact middle but I always just like go middle ish okay now when this is done I always put the same outer glow and the same color as the other one that is around so this one go to okay do 20 times 25 that is just my go-to but you will see it eventually how it's gonna turn out and now we're gonna change exactly now I can see it Oh no. Okay. You can have it like this and then just type down here A R O M Y A. But of course, we're gonna lower it. But you can go to the A, right click, press copy layer style, go here, and paste layer style. But of course, we're gonna put it like 72. 72. Yeah, 72 is a good size. Well, it's even maybe a little bit too big. So you can just go down to 72, 52. Yeah, 52 is fine. Oh no. There we go. Alright. But now you can leave it like this if you feel if you feel like it or you can take the A and make it in some Okay, let's just put it like this. 
if you press Control T on the keyboard and you can uh, this image then you can twist it around let's maybe have it like this then you have to square it like put it in the middle a little bit alright you can have it like this but you cannot spell go to Google because our theme is blue and you just blue wallpaper go to pictures and now we want to find something nice so like uh, I have used this one before this one can be nice you just be, be sure it's a uh, 920 times 1080 because you want to have it in HD let's say we're gonna use this one right click save image just say we do the desktop um, here's the A just be sure open find the picture that we are looking for right click press ok then you're gonna drag it over to your to the other one and then you have to be sure that this image is above A then you right click convert to smart object no I was wrong you press right and convert create a clipping mask then you can see that uh, the thing went into the A and then you can move it around have however you want to play okay we want to have it like this and then if you don't want to have a black background you can have it like this then now it, it is a uh, PNG and the black background won't be but we are gonna keep the black background so basically now the logo is uh, ready and now you just go here save as you can save it as uh, your PG or PNG some platforms like YouTube or Twitch want to have it in uh, like this exact file then you can do that but most of them like it doesn't matter so you can just choose either you like you want and then just save it and then you can as well if you just want to get the circle and the letter then you can just take out this one and take out this one if you want to put it on a t-shirt or something then you have this design just ready now but if you put it on a social media I would recommend it to have it like this if you want you can as well uh, oh. Oh no. You can drag it in here, put it above the smaller A, create a clipping mask, and now it is, it is as well down here. So now the logo is basically ready. So if you if you guys feel like this video helped you in any shape or form, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more tutorials. I will see you in the next video. Good night and take care.